I also wanted to emphasize how serious streptococcal infections are and that many, many people uh, don't feel or don't recognize how serious they are and actually, quote, blow it off uh, as something that isn't very serious when there are many serious um, uh, diseases that can occur or sequelae following group A streptococcal infection, and these include Sydenham chorea, which is the neurologic manifestation of rheumatic fever, or uh, rheumatic carditis, which is the most serious uh, manifestation of rheumatic fever, and then, of course, the brain uh, diseases that can occur uh, following uh, group A streptococcal infection, which are uh, pediatric autoimmune neurologic I'm sorry, neuropsychiatric disorder associated with uh, group A streptococci. So um, those are, are all very serious. And then necrotizing fasciitis and sepsis uh, that children can actually get or give to adults uh, is a very uh, serious situation. And of course, the children between the ages of 5 and 15 are in classrooms, and they pass the organisms around amongst themselves and uh, then, of course, get out into the community, and then it becomes a, a more community-acquired disease.